Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Gun Empty Tray stack. This is the Steelers uh, formation once again. I don't know how many different playbooks this formation's in. I had something very similar to this in the Saints playbook when I did their uh, the ebook series out of them, uh, but I don't know if it was the exact same formation. I just know there were some very similar plays, so don't quote me on that. But if you guys want to see the the full Saints ebook, all that information is in the description below. Uh, other than that, like I said, this is part two, so I'll go ahead and I'll pop a little montage for part one if you guys didn't see it you guys can go ahead and check that out So the next play I'm going to show, and I'm not sure if it's going to be the beginning of the next video or the end of the last video, is the post wheel. Now this is a concept that I put out previously, uh, but there's some uh, serious adjustments you can make here. So let's go. Let's pick that. We'll go uh, random nickel or random big dime again. Um, this is a concept that's you know it's in a couple of different plays. All I'm really going to do is I'm going to put James here on a slant, and uh, then I'm also going to put Hayward here on an in route and then smart route him. So it's just a slightly different uh, level, but this play right here is all about the guys on the uh, on the uh, the right side. Once again, as you can see, I go right that cover three seam there. I mean, there, there's a lot of good options here, but I would say realistically, I'm trying to work Bryant and Bell the most. Um, as you can see, Bryant is just coming up this cover three seam. I'm not sure if that's cover three or not, but he's getting open right at the center every time. And uh, the running back is a really good option too, which I'm trying to see uh, when I can get him. Like here looks like a man, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lob this up for an easy score as he beats. I'm not sure who that is, but he got toasted. Some safety. Um, but that's, you know, any, anytime you got a man coverage, he's really going to be dynamic. I'm not making all my adjustments right now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to take this cover two beater again. Oh, let's go. Good catch, brother. Uh, but that's really, like I said, those two guys, one of those two guys should get open pretty much every time. All these other routes, like I said, you have a lot of options here. Um, here the tight end is just kind of coming open. He, he's just unchecked off the line, so he's going to be wide open. You're, all, these, uh, all these things in the middle here are really going to make it for some hard reads um, for a user middle linebacker because there's so much going on. You can also put James, if you really want to, you can put James in a drag um, if you have a really competent user. There's no way he's going to be able to stop a double drags by himself. Uh, because that's a really hard concept, so that's really up to you. So I went ahead and I moved the ball because I do want to showcase uh, what Bell's doing here um, if he's not uh, covered immediately. And as uh, you can see here, I pass lead outside a little bit and I can get underneath that cornerback. So we'll go ahead and rock this once or twice more. Uh, we got that, you know, that circle route is really what I want. I mean, that's, that's really going to be the biggest play out of all of them, unless it's a man coverage. I mean, the two biggest plays on this are going to be on where Bell and uh, the circle route are. And I really want the circle route. You can see here as uh, Brown comes open underneath. That's also a very big play if everything pulls back the way that it does. Um, but uh, that I put out a little while ago. Here we got the we got Bell to the outside of Passley outside. A little bit nice toe tap catch. Yeah, this is a combination of a couple different good, really good concepts that I put out this year. Like the, the two receivers on the left are a drive concept. And uh, the one on the other side is like a post shot concept. Um, as you can see here, we got that uh, Brian here is going to get open several times against several different coverages in several different ways. Um, he's a really good route. And then Bell will too. Bell will get open uh, the same. So this is there's so much good stuff going on here. You really have to lab this play. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move on. Next up play I got is the Curl Flat Salem. Now this is a very hard to stop play um, that I put out in a couple different things. I, I put out the Salem out of a couple different uh, formations, but this one's obviously pretty different. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. So this year, what I typically do is I put uh, Bell here into a slant route, and he gets open underneath uh, what James is doing. Still a good look. Uh, putting him on a drag is pretty good, too, and he's going to play off of what Bryant's doing. Bryant is a really good route as well. Um, as, as you can see, he just I just floated right behind the coverage. That's a really hard route to cover. I don't know why. I find that you could also put Bell on an in route. Anything just to pull that coverage, because that circle route's really good. As you can see here, it's just, it's just finding a hole in the zone pretty much every time. One of my subscribers actually brought this up to me. I've been using this route 
for a long time, but I typically, or this route combination for a long time in this play, but I typically throw to James or Bell, uh, but, but a subscriber of mine was telling me how hard of a time they were having covering the circle route, and I know that the circle route's really good against cover threes and stuff like that, but he was telling me in a, in a comment section that he was using just about everything under the sun to stop that circle route, and it wasn't working, so it's a very good route, very hard to stop. Here you see I hit the cover three tight end. Anytime you have a cover three, uh, that was actually cover two, but anytime you get a cover three, uh, James is going to be open right away. And this particular, that was a cover two because you can see how that drag pulls that linebacker down pretty quick. That drag route's going to pull coverage down uh, on a computer linebacker. Um, you know, a lot more than, often than a user linebacker. I think that the uh, the slant will pull the user linebacker more. The drag will not, especially, but that's fine because I'll take that drag all day long, uh, to be honest with you. And uh, you still have that concept on the other side that I showed in the previous play. That square route is still really good. A uh, little check down. It's kind of like a hesitation out route. I would say that the only adjustment I would really make is Brown here. I'd put him on an out route, and then I would smart route him. And uh, now you have two levels there. Uh, the triangle route is going to get open a little bit quicker. But you see how it pulls coverage back. Any time there's a deep cover, it's going to leave the underneath guy open. Yeah, there's, that's that's not really... There's no real uh, adjustment for Brown, uh, the route that Brown's running that I like. So putting one in and around small rag is not bad. Um, but he's really the last thing. He's like a late check down. The two guys on my left are both kind of check downs. And I'm just kind of making my reads on the other sides. So we got a nice man coverage here. Uh, he held on to it, though. I thought he got a little bit better separation, but he didn't. So if it's a cover three, James, if it's, uh, you know, man, you can slant or you can uh, drag the, the running back. And uh, Bryant's really good against cover three, too. I'm not sure what this coverage is. It's just an all-out blitz. But Bryant comes on, open underneath that cover three coverage as well. Next up out of the uh, gun empty tray stack, we have the levels. Here we go. This play right here, I mean, I like it just like it is. I'm not a huge fan of what Brown's doing. Um, he's kind of running out and then running back in. Uh, he gets a nice little acceleration boost. And you see how he comes open underneath, uh, which isn't too bad. Um, but you can, I find you can put him just as simply on a drag. Uh, but I kind of like the way it is. It just takes a little bit longer to get open. Uh, what I do like to do is I like to put Bell on the other side on a slant. He's going to work under James. Uh, what James is doing is an option route. Like here, he's going to come open up to cover two. But it's his choice whether he goes straight if it's a cover three or he slants if it's a cover two. But whichever one he does, Bell is going to come open underneath it. Like this here, it looks like a cover two. And you can see how uh, Bell's is kind of trailing. And it's going to make it hard for the user to really come open underneath and stop that. I also find the best thing to do with the outside route and Bryant is put him on an out route and then smart route him. Uh, he's really going to be useful against cover threes. That's really going to be the best way to, to, to rock him is against cover threes. So we're going to go ahead and run just like this. Uh, I'm not really entirely sure what the defense is, but you can see once again, Bell's coming open late underneath. The user middle linebacker should be vacated by then. Yeah, I'm not necessarily going to make my covers three adjustment every time, which is Bryant, uh, because I don't, you know, I mean, uh, just in case it's not a cover three, I'm trying to make it now because it looks like a cover three. There we go. So this actually looks like it's going to be a cover three as we have the one safety drop down. Um, you can't fool me, bro. I've seen that look a million times. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, do this a couple more times here. As you can see, this uh, this route is pretty good. I mean, you get a nice acceleration boost. You drop down on it. I want to go ahead. I want to try to get this uh, triangle route going. As you can see here, he just typically comes open late. I mean, you have a lot of this. This play is really about uh, receivers coming open late after the coverages have been pulled out. That's really one of the good things about this. Um, as you can see, we're going to have that again. Actually, like I'll take the deep check down here on that one. As you can, I can tell he's going to get beat. So that's it. That's that play. We'll go ahead and move on. Another really good play out of this that doesn't have a lot of adjustments is the jailbreak screen. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Another really good play out of this that doesn't have a lot of adjustments is the jailbreak screen. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. The only thing I would say uh, that would be a helpful adjustment here is just basically making some sort of fake motion. Uh, just to kind of get your opponent paying attention to something on the other side because uh, there's only really one route that I would say is good enough to throw to. But you can see how incredible the blocking is on these jailbreak screens this year. I mean, you have pulling linemen and everything. But yeah, the fake motion, I mean, that's just to kind of get your opponent to pay attention to the other side of the field. Hopefully they're not watching for these screens. Uh, because you can see how uh, the blocking sets up. The linemen pull out. Um, you just have a really, the jailbreak screens are really hard to stop this year. But yeah, this screen is really a one read play unless you have a really good mobile quarterback um, because there's just so much um, blocking leaving uh, to get over to your receiver. So you really got to have a mobile quarterback for this play to work out. Um, but, uh, you know, that's just a really good play all around. So we'll go ahead and move on. 
All right, so that's it for part two of the Steelers. Like I said, if you guys wanted me to do an ebook out of the Steelers, if you think that will be uh, popular, let me know in the comment section. I have a feeling it might be. And uh, otherwise, that's it. More Steelers hit the like button. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shut out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.